Hello, I'm Kenny. Today I will talk about automated testing. Automation is a, a major, uh, is a, is a very uh, major word in this uh, industry. Hundreds of thousands of engineers are working on that, just like the man in the picture. They're trying to create gears and put that into the system, and that system uh, to deliver function automatically. Uh, and all automated systems make people's life easier and also make our life, engineers' life easier. Uh, automated testing is trying to convert uh, manual testing as um, a script or program, just like a checklist. But all the checking items will be checked automatically uh, through a text play phone or something. And, and I want to use a sport to describe more about automatic testing. Uh, this is rock climbing, right? And I think most of you agree rock climbing can bring lots of benefit in physical, uh, mental, even social. And I think some of you ever tried this. But I guess only few of you are really good at this, just like automatic testing. I think most of engineers agreed uh, automatic testing can bring lots of uh, benefit. Uh, it can save huge time. It can uh, uh, prevent the bugs. But I think uh, not just uh, some engineers are really good at that. Why? Because if you ha have to deliver good testing, you have to have the uh, testing knowledge and good programming skills. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's really not, uh, not easy. So uh, and in a large uh, internet company, uh, we, where we reuse lots of modules, APIs to build all kinds of service products and pages. And we also allow our uh, users or um, uh, partners can reuse them to build their own um, products or own commercial pages. But testing will be a problem because it's hard to cover all these uh, this, uh, testing uh, this pages. So when I want to uh, fix this uh, issue, uh, this movie is in the theater. Uh, the story is in the year 2155, uh, the humor is divided into two words. One is Earth and the other is Elysium. Uh, the people in the Elysium uh, has a worthy life, uh, no war, no sickness. But the rest are uh, living in the ruined Earth. And the main character, Matt, uh, acted by the Matt Damon, and he is a resident of the Earth and he accidentally uh, poisoned by the radiation. And his plans stick into, uh, sticking into the Elysium to seek a better medical care. What the better medical care uh, Elysium can provide? There is a magical product called uh, medical bed. Medical bed, just like a TV, every home has one. So when you lie down, uh, it can automatically scan your body and find out all the uh, illness and uh, disease of your body and then clean it up. Oh, so magic, right? Why the uh, medical bank can do that? Because it has medical knowledge and hearing skills. So compare with the automatic testing, uh, with that, the engineer, why the difficult of uh, automatic testing? Because we try to let engineer to have the knowledge and skills. But Elysium, that a machine to do that. So I, tr I think maybe I can automate automatic testing. I can have a system. This system can help to scan your page and provide test cases and then deliver to the testing framework to do the, do the testing automatically. So um, uh, what I have, actually in Yahoo, we have an uh, open source, uh, uh, open source um, testing framework we call the Arrow. Uh, you can write down the JavaScript uh, test script, and you can send it to the Arrow. Arrow will help you to run in the Selenium grid or Fenton.js. And what I did, I built a system called a Quiver. A uh, Quiver, you, uh, when you want to test the page, you can open a Quiver. Quiver will help you scan your page and try to provide a recommendation, test cases. And then you can just click, and it will generate a test script for you. So uh, for end user, you can easy to generate a test script for your own services, your own pages. And then QE can focus on save their knowledge into the function, to save the test knowledge into the function, and put it into the Quiver. Quiver will recommend all the test cases for uh, other users. So uh, that's, uh, that's what I have to talk today. And the Quiver is coming soon. We plan to open source in the near future. Thank you.